hey guys welcome to my channel and thank you so much for watching what is good i am jade if you're new here so you guys robin dixon is a liar do you guys remember the interview that robin dixon did shortly after the backlash after the way she literally antagonized wendy during the dinner from hell in miami where she had the camera and the light because she wanted wendy to know that she was filming her right yeah so after she had the camera shoved down on wendy's face with the recording light and everything when she kept telling wendy you either fight or you don't you either fight or you don't you're antagonizing her you know the whole messed up situation that happened at peter's restaurant okay so as soon as the backlash started coming in and people really started going in on Robin for good reasons too, right? I don't know how Robin thought that she was ever going to like succeed. You know what? Scratch that. I think I know because for the most part, she has always gotten away with all of her shenanigans thanks to the audience who have let their colorism cloud their judgment from seeing how vile Robin and Giselle actually are, okay, because of their colorism, and by they, I mean the audience themselves, the show audience, the viewers of the show, they allow their colorism to cloud their judgment in seeing and calling out what Giselle and Robin have continued to do season after season after season. So yeah, there you go. I answered my own question. That is why Robin thought she was going to also this time around get away with what she had basically always gotten away with. But this time around, the audience were not having it because too much of everything is bad. Too much of everything is bad. Okay. So anyways, you know, the audience started to call him, call her out for her behavior, for her toxic, aggressive behavior, Robin. So because the backlash got too much for her, she had no other option than to address it. And so she granted an interview. During the interview, she said she didn't understand the reason why what she was trying to convey wasn't reflecting, basically saying that the editing made her look bad in my own interpretation of what she was saying. She said that what she was trying to do was basically help Wendy in telling Wendy, oh, you have a lot to lose. Mia has nothing to lose. Don't let her get you to that corner, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Which honestly, like just judging by what they have done since the beginning of season seven, if you believe that Robin had anything but poor and bad intention for Wendy, then you're crazy. You're crazier than Robin. Okay. If you think everything that Robin has done since the beginning of the season, especially what she did at that dinner table, if you believe in your heart that she did all those things to protect Wendy, then you're crazier than Robin is. But that's what Robin wants you to believe. She wants you to think that everything that she did was out of the goodness of her heart, out of pure and genuine concern for Wendy. She didn't want Wendy to get to that place where she loses everything or blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever. Forgetting that she had actually done uh, like a, a confessional. And in the confessional, the producer asked her because there was this conversation around who she supported between her and Mia, which really wasn't a fight between her and Mia. It's just Mia fighting herself, okay? And just antagonizing Wendy. But she basically said during that confessional that she sides with Mia. And the producer asked her, why do you side with Mia? And she said, it's simple. I don't like Wendy. So she totally forget. That just tells me that these people say a lot, a lot of crap, a lot of awful, awful things that don't even make it to the 43 minute show every week. So she was probably hoping and wishing that that part of what she said didn't make it to the 
didn't make it to air. Okay. So she completely forgot or she was hoping they did not air that part where she said she sided with Mia because she doesn't like Wendy. So what is it, Robin? Do you want to go back and walk back what you said? That the reason why you are siding with Mia is because you don't like Wendy. Come back and tell me again how I'm supposed to believe that everything that you were doing on that table at Peter's restaurant was because you cared so much about Wendy. Robin is a liar. Okay, she's a bold-faced liar and she's boring. I honestly feel like all of this time that the audience and the viewers have been saying to Robin, you don't bring anything to the show, you're boring, blah, blah, blah. And so she really wanted to bring something, thinking that this was what the audience wanted to see. And now she's learning very fast that this is not what the audience want to see. And I have seen conversations online as to whether or not Robin would apologize to Wendy during the reunion. I sincerely doubt that she would apologize to Wendy. Robin does not have it in her. She doesn't have the human decency to actually apologize for the things that she did to Wendy. So I don't think that she would apologize. The same goes for Giselle. I don't think Giselle would apologize to Wendy in spite of everything that has played out, in spite of what the backlash basically, with people just calling them out for their mean gay antics and their mean girl behavior and the nonsense i honestly do not think that those two women would actually ever apologize they don't have it in it they don't have the human decency to apologize for their mistakes in fact i honestly think that they are going to double down during the reunion because remember it took Robin three days to grant the interview that she did following the backlash. I have a feeling that she was reading all of the comments, all of the comments online and what people were saying, and so decided to piggyback off of something that I continue to hear, you know, from the audience, people who were saying, oh, Wendy has so much to lose, so she should leave the show. I honestly think that was what Robin was piggybacking off, thinking, oh, this makes the most sense to me. Let me jump on this and use this as an excuse, as an out to show that, that I really did care about Wendy. Okay, so I think they're going to look at everything that is being said online. They're going to look at how everything is being played out. And then they're going to conclude that they don't need to apologize to Wendy. I think that is exactly how everything is going to play out. So I could be wrong. So they might totally go on that reunion and be sorry because they see how really ridiculous and mean and vile they have been. And then they may actually show some remorse, maybe to save their jobs or whatever. But there is something that I have always said, and I will continue to say this. The show has gotten really, really dark. Okay, the show has gotten really, really dark. A lot of people watch The Real Housewives as an escapism. People watch it to get away from reality, even though it's... The show is marketed as a reality show. People want to watch this to get away from their own reality. They want to see how a bunch of rich women behave when they are together or whatever. But the show has definitely gotten so dark and um, it has really turned a lot of people away. And I think the best way to remedy this show really is to get rid of Giselle and Robin, demote them, to friends or whatever or take them off for one season i think if they continue to come back on the show i think it's going to do serious damage to the show itself okay and make no mistakes about it we have seen real housewives go out of business so it is not far-fetched it is not something that cannot happen but if they continue along this line i have a feeling that this is exactly what's going to happen 
people are going to get tired of the nonsense and people are just going to tune out because the show has gotten so dark, it has gotten so heavy and this is not what the people sign up for. So yeah, they need to get it together and I am also in agreement with what a lot of people are saying online that Andy Cohen should not um host this reunion they need to get somebody who understand colorism they need to get somebody who understand what is going on in our community to actually hold these women's feet to the fire if this is just going to be another andy cohen hosting the show it's going to be business as usual andy is not really going to hold any of these women accountable and it's just going to be back to the same bullshit and that is definitely going to tune people out but again Robin is a bloody liar, okay? She needs to leave the show. She needs to go and focus on whatever it is that is causing her to be so aggressive towards Wendy. She needs to leave the show, okay? That is just my opinion. She's aggressive. She's mean. She's awful. And none of this is warranted at all. And they're using Mia to do their dirty bidding because... Robin and Giselle already have their hands full with this whole thing about Chris, the accusations and the allegations. So they don't want to get themselves involved in too many scandals at a time. Otherwise, they will lose track. So they have enlisted Mia to do the dirty beating this time around when it comes to Wendy. So it's just sad. It's dark. It's disgusting. But I am looking forward to seeing how everything plays out. And yeah, anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Thank you so much. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.